sponsored by 666bet.com. Coogan Cassius, what are you singing? Coogan Cassius, Rifle Team in association with Mackin's Jim Marbet and 666bet. With me, I have Tyson Fury. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Relaxed, calm, cool, collected. This Hungry. Is, this is the calmest and coolest I've ever seen you at anything. I am. I'm relaxed. I'm ready for the fight. I've done my training. There's no more to be done. I'm relaxed. So, what's the difference between this press conference and any other press conference? There's well? no difference. I'm just on top of a fight and I'm sick of all the uh, trash talk and I'm sick of all the talking vulgarness. Like I said, I've asked God to change my life and I believe he's going to do that. I was going to come on to that. Is that part of the reason why there is there has been a notable change in your personality but the way your the media perceive you? Yeah, you know, it's um, it's not good being perceived as Jack to Lad and whatever, all, all the vulgar mouth talk that I come out with all the time. I am um, a happily married man with kids, so I've got to start acting like a mature citizen. Okay. The Tyson Fury that we see on this camera, is that Tyson Fury or is that a, a character version of yourself? No, there's, there's a couple of types of me. One, one type's the type who's happy-go-lucky, the next type's a personal type, the next type's a serious type, so I'm a man of many characters. Because a lot of people ask me, is that how Tyson is? And I, I, I don't know, because we spend more time with you in front of the camera, and yeah. that's what people believe what they see in front of this. So it's just a version of yourself, would you yeah, agree with definitely. that? Yeah, definitely. I am like that on times. A lot of the times, it's different moods, isn't it? If you're in a great mood, you'll, uh, you do crazy things. If you're in a serious mood, then you'll be serious. There's a time for playing, there's a time for games, and there's a time to be serious. And this time is for me to be serious. Are you happy with the way things have gone in your career so far obviously you've had setbacks but ultimately and generally are you happy with the way things have gone? I'm been? happy yeah I'm, I'm happy you know I could have maybe had a few more fights but you know ultimately I'm still undefeated and I'm still I'm happy because I got the fight that I'm, I wanted and uh, the winner of this goes on and fights for the world title so I couldn't be any happier at this moment in time. Would you consider yourself have been inactive over the last couple of years? I've been inactive I've only had two fights in two years but you know there's plenty of fighters out there who's only had two fights in two years I've been lucky that I've had two fights in two years, so it is what it is. I'm getting paid for this fight well, so um, hopefully I'll get another fight in February and then the big fight March, April time. Obviously, you've said time and time again that the Klitschko fight won't happen, and you know, I spoke about this the other day. Is it more than likely that you will search another route uh, for the Listen, World Cup? I'll take whatever route it is, whether it's Klitschko or Wilder Stavern winner, that's, or whoever the WBA champion is, Rushlan Chagayev. I'll take any one of those guys, not an issue. Hmm. Obviously Klitschko knocked out Pulev not that long ago, what did you make of that performance? I thought it was a great performance with an overrated Pulev, um, great performance, but I'm not no Pulev and I, I think Derek Chisora puts up a better fight than Pulev. If he wins and he goes on to fight Klitschko, he'll put up a better performance than Pulev did. Hmm. Again, I've asked you this before, but next year, are we likely to see these great domestic heavyweight uh, uh, fights between you and someone else. Is, is that, does that interest you as well? There's a lot of heavyweights that you haven't fought. In, in England? In England, yeah. No, I'm not really interested. It's about the money for me, uh, Coogan. So I need to big fights in world level to earn money. There's, there's not really much money in fighting for the British title. Um, so like, there you have it. But there, there are some... My next fight is for a world title and it's yeah. going to be for millions of pounds. So I'm not going to take 100 grand to fight uh, some British opponents when I can earn millions in my next fight. If they want to put millions up, then yeah. But if not, then it's uh, it's not a good business move, is it? So that's your attitude to it. If the money's right, you you consider whatever. That's enough. The money's right. I'll consider anything. Nothing's up outdoable in boxing if you, if there's money's right. Okay. Because money talks all languages, as we all know. It certainly does. Um, obviously, at the rules meeting tomorrow, they ask you to shave your beard off. That's it's not an issue for me. It's not an issue. Shave the beard off if they want it off. Whatever. I'm not really interested. It's what it is. It's getting a bit scruffy anyway. So. Yeah. It looks nice. Thank you. Yeah, it looks nice. I can't grow it like that though. People no. start thinking. Yeah, I don't know. It's a. It's, a, it's I think it looks scruffy actually. I, I like to look smart where I go places. I don't like looking like a scruff bag. So it's about time it's got to come off anyway. Right. Gillette, get in touch, yeah? If there's any sponsors out there, here, off. Right. Let us film it if you're going to shave it tomorrow. Yeah. Might yeah. do. If I'm going to shave it, I don't know yet what I'm going to do. So I should do it. All right. It's like a new man. Thank you. A new man. Can yeah. I just say uh, a yeah. couple of things to the viewers? You can say anything you want. You can say anything you want. Anything I want? No, literally, I will not cut it, whatever you say. 
Uh, yeah, I'd just like to say thank you for all the uh, viewers out there who's watched me over the years and done the interviews with me. Um, it's been a pleasure. The good times, the bad times, and the happy times, and the sad times. I think you've seen 25 different personalities over the uh, couple of years. I've been interviewed by uh, you guys, um, and it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. There's always, I've not always given you time, whether it's been good, bad, indifferent. I've always uh, took time out of my schedule to work with you guys. So good luck in the future. Do you know what? I echo that. You've never refused us an interview. I'm just talking from our thing, and for the media, you are. Yeah. Wish everyone was like you, giving time. Everyone is, but yeah. you know. And I just like to say, God bless everybody. All right, Tyson Fury. Thanks for coming to Eiffel TV. Thank and you very much. Best of luck on Saturday night. Bye bye. Thank you. The big fight, sponsored by 666bet.com.